Hey everybody, this is the Marine with Backpacking with a Hammock. The last trip I took, which was called the Spring Trek in the BWCA, Superior Hammock asked me to bring these cinch buckles that he designed to test them out and to try them. And I was a little reluctant at first because I'm a whoopee sling guy and whoopee slings are lighter, they're less bulkier, and they adjust a lot easier. Now cinch buckles are easy to adjust as far as tightening, but loosen them, most of them can be just a pain. When there's weight in the hammock, even more so, and especially for someone starting out. In this video, we're gonna look at the review I did in the BWCA, and then we're also gonna look at the things that I found that were very interesting, and how this cinch buckle is different from other cinch buckles, and then we're gonna look at pros and cons of the cinch buckle and the whoopee sling. First of all, I like to keep my suspension separated from my hammock. And when I go hiking, it never fails. Some point during the hike, it's gonna rain. And if you want an enjoyable hike or backpacking trip, you always wanna stay dry, and also you wanna keep your gear dry. Because the suspension is always exposed to the element, like when it rains, and the hammock is always underneath the tarp, so that's protected from the rain. And if you have a system where your suspension is connected to the hammock, then you have to pack the suspension and the dry hammock together. And yes, you can wrap the wet suspension around the stuff sack of the hammock or put them in baggies. There's still a chance that the hammock or your gear may get wet from the suspension. But before we go any farther, I'd like to show you some of the things I don't like about the whoopee sling, especially the one I use. So a problem with the whoopee sling is what size tree hugger or tree strap to use on the end of the whoopee sling to attach to the tree. Now if the tree strap or hugger is too long, you'll have to wrap it around the tree a couple times. Now this is the shortest I can go with this whoopee sling because it ends right here. That's the farthest I can tighten it down to. But with a cinch buckle, you don't have to worry about that. You can just pull that thing all the way up, even if you had to go all the way to the tree. You could always adjust it as close as you want. If the tree strap or hugger is too short, you won't be able to tighten up the suspension and the amp steel will dig in the tree and leave some scarring. Now with the cinch buckle suspension, you wouldn't have to worry about tree huggers or tree straps because the whole suspension of the cinch buckle is a strap. Now some people say, why don't you just use daisy chains? I don't care for daisy chains because I like to adjust my hammock precisely. With the daisy chains, you have those different increments. And I know Dutch wear gear will have three inch increments. And still, I like to get even more precise than that. And to take off the carabiner when there's weight in the hammock and put in the next link can be a pain. If I was to suggest a suspension for someone starting off, I would still go with the cinch buckle. I got these cinch buckles from Superior Hammock. Usually I use whoopee slings all the time, but in winter camping with the adjustment to fine tuning, these cinch buckles work really great. And I like these cinch buckles compared to other cinch buckles. Now when there's weight in the hammock, these average cinch buckles, you pull back and they're hard to to adjust you really got to crank on it Ugh. you tighten easy but to loosen you got to pull back and uh, oh, that one's kind of twisted up now you can pull on the weight here and use the other hand and makes it easier but you got to make sure that that strap doesn't twist the Superior Hammock cinch buckle is much easier to loosen. It's because Danny designed them to move very easily. Take it and put my finger in there. Now the way Danny from Superior Hammock designed these, now you can see with on the cinch buckle, it's curved and I can put my finger in there and it's nice and comfortable. It fits just perfect on my finger. Now you can see with the Superior Hammock Cinch Buckle has a hole design in it. Danny put that in there so you can put a carabiner in there 
Now if you have some type of cordage that won't fit into these slots here and the cordage is too thick, you can use a carabiner then. So you can use it on any type of cordage that's attached to your hammock. And you can also attach your pack to that carabiner to keep it off the wet ground. And also you can hang your shoes on there to dry. In the future, Danny from Superior Hammock will be making spreader bars with the pegs to fit in those holes so you will be able to hang two hammocks side by side. They're a little bulky, but they adjust really easy. They're made of uh, aluminum and not titanium, so they're bigger. They're a little heavier. But it's only a few grams, so if you're going to do ultralight backpacking, yeah, if you want to go with the titanium, but if you're winter camping or you just, you're not worried about those extra grams, if you're going to get a cinch buckle, I suggest getting this one from Superior Hammock. Now when my friend Runner and I were in the BWCA, I asked him to show me how to loosen the suspension on his hammock because there was weight on his hammock and I wanted to see how well it worked. What do you want to do with that? Loosen it, bring it down. Oh, okay. I can't ever get that to work. It's easier to do it when a hammock's not on there. Now you can see that runner struggling with that cinch buckle from, that one's from Dutchware Gear. It's called the Cinch Beetle. They're really nice. I'm not bashing them. They're made out of titanium. They're small, they're lightweight. And if you're ultralight backpacking or lightweight backpacking, and you like to use cinch buckles, those are really nice. But if you're gonna be out winter camping, if you're not gonna be worrying about a couple grams, I really suggest getting these ones from Superior Hammock. They're really easy to use. Even if there's weight in your hammock, you still can adjust them. With those other cinch buckles, if you have weight in your hammock, it's really hard to loosen up the hammock. It's easy to tighten it, but it's hard to loosen the hammock. I love whoopee slings, but these cinch buckles from Superior Hammock, if I'm out winter camping, I'll probably end up using those instead of my whoopee slings. Now with the one with Superior Hammock, you just put your finger in the triangle and just pull it down and it loosens up very easily. Unlike the other cinch buckles. Now am I going to stop using the whoopee sling? No. But I will be using that Superior Hammock cinch buckle more and more. And especially during the winter time, that will probably be my suspension for the winter time. Because when my hands get cold, I lose that dexterity. And I find that Superior Hammock cinch buckle is easy to tighten and to loosen. Well, I hope this video was helpful and insightful. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine with Backpacking with a Hammock. Thank you for watching, and God bless.